Hi, I'm Daniela O'Neill and I'm a professor of child development at the University of Waterloo. Today I want to tell you about this game, Mermaid Island from Peaceable Kingdom, that's part of the Young Children's Board Game Lending Library that I helped curate and develop together with Kitchener Public Library. So because it, this is a, a game with uh, a lot of little um, bits to it, I've started to set it up already just uh, to help us move along a little faster. So first of all, uh, this is a cooperative game, which means that all the players are going to work together to make decisions during the game that hopefully will uh, let the players reach the goal uh, of the game uh, rather than losing to, in this case, the sea witch. So in this game, there are three mermaids, and these are these tokens, and they're put in the start position. There is a sea witch, and she has a special starting position here. And then there are uh, these wands, and the wands are put on these four wand uh, spaces. As in games like Snakes and Ladders, there are two bridges here that can take uh, a mermaid from uh, one space uh, and jumping ahead to the other. Now, the Sea Witch uh, takes her turns as well. Uh, if when the spinner lands on the Sea Witch, uh, that means that the Sea Witch comes out and only moves one space at a time. So the Sea Witch is not gonna move as quickly as the mermaids. So let's say we're taking a first spin in the game and it's two spaces. So players can decide together uh, which of these three mermaids to move two spaces. And let's say it's this one. And then game continues where now it would be the sea witch that moves out. And what you want to avoid in this game is mermaids landing on the same space as the sea witch because then they get sent back to the start. So here we'll it's really on the border, but we'll call it looks like it's just slightly towards the one. So for example, here this mermaid could now come onto this space and you get this wand token. The wand token can be helpful because it means you can move the sea witch back one space, but you don't have to use it right away. And so players can kind of put this off to the side and decide themselves when it might be most advantageous to have the sea witch go back one space. If a mermaid lands on like here, uh, one space where there is a bridge, that mermaid on that turn can go all the way to uh, the end of the bridge. The only time a mermaid wouldn't want to do that is if, for example, the sea witch was there, you wouldn't want to go over to the bridge because uh, then you would be sent back to the start. And in this way, you try to, in this game, together as players, get all three of these mermaids to Mermaid Island before the sea witch gets there and claims it for herself. And that's how you play Mermaid Island.